everyone. Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other. Well, today I thought I would use up some of my leftover paints to do a Dutch pour painting on this uh, 30 by 60 centimeter thin edge canvas. And just like usual, I'm taping off the back with some painter's tape and using my giant push pins that I got from my local um, stationery place um, to keep the painting off the surface of the table. Now the painting today, um, when I'm done and it's dry, it's going to be displayed this way. But so it fits on my table today, I'm painting it this way. So it'll be a, a little bit of a, a juggle. Anyway, the, the paint that I have left over today um, is mostly Joe Sonia's colours that I used for a balloon smash that you might have seen in one of my other videos. And rather than throwing out the paint, I thought I'd just use it up in a Dutch pour. Now, because the canvas is so skinny, I want to have a little bit more control with um, how it turns out on the canvas. So I'll have a go at using my mouth today to blow out the paint rather than the blow dryer that I would normally use on a larger canvas. But anyway, the colours I'm using today aren't the standard ones that I use for a Dutch pour. I tend to like using the Amsterdam paints for a Dutch pour. They work really well. But today I'm not. We'll see what happens. Um, my base colour today is just a standard Montmartre titanium white and I mix that one part paint to um, one part flow troll and some water. The Amsterdam paints I usually just do paint and water. Then the colours today are these nice Joe Sonia's colours. I'm using um, their Aqua and <coughs> excuse me, Brilliant Magenta and ultramarine blue and their rich gold. Now they're quite thin so rather than one to one paint and flow troll I did one part paint, half a part flow troll and then water to thin it out. And then the other colour I had left over that I'm using today is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, the um, berry colour. I'm not using a huge amount of this because it tends to take over. But it'll be nice in the painting. Now the consistency is really thin. It's not quite water thin, but it's close. It needs to be that thin for me to blow it out with my mouth, otherwise I'll just pass out and fall on the floor. So you'll see the consistency in a little bit. Anyway, I'll just put these paints away and then we'll get started. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. I've got all my paints mixed up here on the side. I did them earlier, hence they're covered in cling wrap. As you can see, it's quite thin. So it's not quite water thin, but it's close. And if I do a twirly shape, I don't get a mound at all. Now, when you put it on the canvas, you want a reasonably thin layer on the canvas, but not so thin so you can't blow the paint out. So it's a, it's, it's a bit of a guess, but you don't, you don't want it so thick that the paint has nowhere to go because you're not tipping anything off and you don't want it too thin to stop you blowing the paint out. All right, so I'll pour it on the canvas. You can see it's quite thin. Now some people like blowing it out with a blow dryer. I just use a, a palette knife. I'll keep a bit over in case there's a, an emergency. I think it was about 300 grams or so I ended up with of mixed up paint. In the end, you never know quite how much you're going to get because I just put water in until the consistency is right. I don't measure the water. Now I will tip this a bit. 
just to level it out. Just making sure my sides are covered. I like it tidy. So I have covered everything. Now I'll just tip it a bit. You see I've got too much on there. I will tip a bit off and smooth it all out at the same time. The painting does go flat when it dries. So if you do have some bumps left over, it doesn't matter. This is the, the messy bit. I'll just go and rinse off my gloves and then we'll come back and continue. Okay, we're back. I'll just torch it to get rid of bubbles. Nice smooth white surface to to paint on hopefully the right thickness we'll soon find out now as I said my design is going lengthwise that'd be a little bit of a trick but yeah we'll see now I often make the mistake of putting too much color on the canvas we'll, we'll see how this happens today now what color will I start off with maybe the dark blue. Now it's really thin. I did add some more water today because it had dried out a little bit. Okay. I might start A, a random swirl. I still have paint left over but I'm not going to save it again. Oh, I might put some gold on next. Gold's quite heavy and it just sinks into the paint. Hopefully it won't just disappear altogether. Of the, the berry color. too much of that. I might 
put some more gold on. Now hopefully I haven't put too much colour on. But we'll see. Now as I said I'd use my mouth today rather than the blow dryer. I've got a little bit more control over what happens. Let's see. If your paint's too thick, you can't blow it out with your mouth. cool. Let's see if I need to blow it out anymore. I was afraid the berry color would take over. It almost did. Yeah, but not quite. If I if the canvas was a bit wider, I would have blown it out a bit a bit more. Uh, maybe I can still do that. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe a bit over here. Possibly a bit more here too, I think. balanced I think. Maybe take a bit over the top. So I'm happy with that. Now I'll just give it a bit of a torch, pop any bubbles and sometimes you get a bit more lacing and cell action happening.
you can see how that berry colour sort of is very dominant. I thought that would happen, but we've got some nice gold happening and we can see all the other colours as well. I think it's nicely balanced. I do really like this lacing that I got there. I think it's the interaction between the Montmartre paint and the other colours that does that. But yeah, it's very pretty. All right, I'll bring you in for a closer look. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully you can see the painting. I'll bring you down. I might turn the camera this way because this is the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, we got some lovely um, lacing effects happening. So what did you think of that one? I think it turned out really nice. So I think I'm done with this colour combination for a little while. I've done like three paintings with the same colours and I still have some left. But no more. Enough is enough. Anyway, I think it turned out really nice. And perhaps that's a technique you'd like to have a go with in the coming week. Remember, if you do try it, keep your paint really thin for this technique. Um, so you can blow it out using your mouth or a blow dryer. If it's too thick, it just won't go anywhere. And if you have too much on the canvas, it has nowhere to go either. So be careful of your consistency and how much you put on the canvas. I probably still had a little too much colour there on the canvas. I could have done with it a little bit less and then I could have blown it out a bit more to, to get some more interesting effects and perhaps reveal some of the other colours that were hidden away. But I think the overall effect is just lovely. Anyway, it's time for me to clean up now and time for me to say goodbye to you guys. Now, as usual, if you like what you saw today, please um, take a moment to press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a moment to subscribe. Well, I hope you have a really great week ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time. So in the meantime, happy painting.